Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. So we need your help. We we need your help to find a missing girl, Julia Mann, 17, and she went missing from her um, her grandparents' home overnight. It was on Thursday, February 20th, into Friday, February 21st. She was last seen around 10 p.m. on that Thursday by her grandfather just before she kind of went to bed. But at some time during the night, Julia had vanished and she was reported missing the next day. But obviously it's now been three months and or nearly three months and there's still been no sign of Julia. Now I'm in contact with Julia's mother and you know, we think it's really important to keep Julia's face and name out there and hopefully she or somebody that she knows will see this video and we'll feel that they can reach out either to the Sheriff's Office or even you know anonymously to this channel just with any anything really any information anything. Um, just to help find Julia. Obviously, her family and mother are, are desperate, you know, filled with with worry, and and she has a little sister, Olivia, you know, five years old. Julia loved her very deeply, and you know, she misses her bigger sister. So let me lay out the important details for you. Now, there is a twenty thousand dollar reward for information leading to the safe return of Julia. Now Julia is 17 years old. She has blue eyes, about five foot three and a hundred pounds. Now she was last seen wearing this black puffer jacket you actually see in this picture. This picture was taken just a few days before she actually went missing and she was also wearing these two-tone pair of Vans shoes. Julie went missing from her grandfather's home, which is in the Rowan Oaks subdivision in Watkinsville in Georgia. Now the house is actually on Cambridge Square. It belonged to her grandfather. She had just moved there um, as she was starting a new school and she was shortly to be joined by her mum and her sister who were moving into the property and the grandparents had a, another property nearby. Now the only things that she took were her phone and her MacBook. No chargers. The only sign that law enforcement could find that she had left the house was this single footprint, or looks like there may be two footprints, that were just outside the back door in the mud. Now they're not 100% positive that they are Julia's footprints, but they are pretty sure that they are. Um, there was no sign of struggle or forced entry or anything like that, so they can only assume that Julia did leave of her own accord. Now, Julia was a very keen online gamer. She enjoyed playing a particular game called Wizard 101, and Obviously, you know, her parents are worried that she may have met somebody on there, you know, maybe somebody has her, has enticed her away. But um, there's been nothing from her phone, nothing from any of her social media accounts, from her MacBook. Um, there's just been nothing. There's been no kind of visible digital footprint from, from when she went missing. And... You know, it makes you wonder the fact she didn't take her charges. 
um, you know, was she intending on coming back shortly after she she left, and why? Why did she leave? These are all the the million dollar questions. This image you actually see here was actually released by her new school, the North Oconee High School, and it was taken the morning that she actually went missing and as you can see she's got the two-tone van shoes on in this picture she was said by people at the school to be very happy that day very normal didn't seem to be anything wrong the last visible ping that law enforcement have from her cell phone was within a three mile radius of the cell tower on Tower Place which is near Danielle's Bridge Road as I understand so they had a ping from her phone within a three mile radius of that tower which is not more than a few miles from her home so I guess there is a possibility that that phone ping it was at 5.11 by the way, that morning, 5.11am on the morning of Friday, February 21st, uh, could well have come from her home, but they're not 100% sure. So if anybody can help, if anybody has any information that may lead to helping to find Julia, as I say, there is a $20,000 reward. You can contact us on the channel anonymously our email is always underneath every video you can also contact the Oconee Sheriff's Office which is on 706 769 5665 we can call 911 if anybody sees her I'm in touch with Julia's mother she's obviously sick with worry um, and you know, as I say, her little sister Olivia, just five years old, you know, is missing her very, very much. And there's just one other little thing that um, Julia's mum mentioned to me that, that she left behind uh, a small little keychain, um, which was a present from, from her sister, her little sister. And, you know, it held a lot of value to, to Julia and... She can't believe that she would have sort of left and, and without intending to come back and, you know, left something like that behind. And, you know, she just wishes that somebody who may know something will, will come forward with some information. So thank you for, for listening. And uh, I'll leave you with a statement from Julia's mum which she has asked me to pass on to Julia hopefully she will will hear this message if Julia can see this I want her to know how much we love her miss her and wish that she were home but above all we just need to know that she is okay we understand Julia is nearly an adult so I want to reassure her she is not in any trouble and there will be no questions asked if she can please just call and let us know if she is someplace safe she wants to be. She means everything in the world to us and what matters most is that we just know she is okay. We are terrified someone could be hurting her and we will never stop searching till we know that she is safe.